Radio, radio, turn it up. WRHU 88.7 FM, Radio Hofstra University. We've been serving the local community for 25 years, bringing you a variety of programs such as the classics, jazz, blues, classic rock of the 60s and 70s, heavy metal, and new age music. We broadcast in stereo from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. weekdays and 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. on weekends. So tune into WRHU 88.7 FM, Radio Hofstra University. and welcome to Opus 88. In case you don't know, Opus 88 is a music show in which we have guests perform music from classical to pop, and we get their insights into the world of music. Today we will talk to Herbert Deutsch, our expert who worked with Moog on the development of electronic music and synthesizers. So let's join Professor Deutsch in his first segment of a series about electronic music. Kind of the music that people were uh, interested in, especially serious musicians in the 1960s, was very avant-garde and very experimental. And that whole period of the 60s was a period of not only social but musical experiment. And it was appropriate that Bob Moog came up with concepts that would really change what music was all about during that time. He came up with an instrument called the Moog synthesizer. This is a modular Moog synthesizer, similar to the one, the ones that were first made. This, this particular instrument was made in 1969. And it's very typical of the early instruments. They're instruments which enable a musician to really create and shape sounds. <laughs> by selecting individual sounds or oscillators, pitching them, controlling them with a keyboard, combining sounds together to create more rich sounds, them to change the, the way they sound and then learning how to handle the articulation of the sound changing the attack for instance or the decay which could be shortened to something like or even shorter. You know, with traditional type instruments, the musician has what the instrument can do. A trumpet is a trumpet, a piano is a piano. And while mastering these instruments takes a long time, the skills involved take a long time, here, a musician doesn't learn to play the instrument as much as he learns to play sound. Next week, Professor Deutsch will continue his discussion about the synthesizer. Now stay tuned for Jerry Kitzrow performing his song, Levitation, coming up right after this. The Music Merchandising Society is a student-run organization that ties the two worlds of music and business together. So if you're interested in a career in the music industry and would like to learn more about the various and unique professions available, then why not attend a meeting of the Music Merchandising Society and discover the career most suited for you. Just 
Hey!